Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my process. So I've got a live client project in front of me. I'm gonna talk you through what their current site looks like, what their requirements were, what they're looking for, and I'm gonna share with you the new design. So I'm gonna split this into two parts. We're gonna have the design, which we're gonna run through today, and then we're gonna go through post development and talk you through the process of how we got it live. Before we jump onto the screen, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification as well, and you'll be notified of future releases. Uh, there's other videos on the channel as well which are designed to help you improve your web design business find more clients uh, charge more all of that good stuff so make sure you go and check those out there is also a facebook group which i've just recently launched so if you want direct access to me ask me any questions uh, be in a community of like-minded people then go and check that out there's a link in the description so without further ado let's jump straight into this project so the client that we've got here, they're called Pendeggy Mill, and it's a simple website. It's a dog-friendly cottages website. Now, this is their existing site, and you can see it doesn't look all that great because there is something missing here. Um, so this website used to have a carousel. Um, the website is four to five years old, uh, so the technology behind it is outdated. So rather than going in and trying to fix the custom theme, what we've decided to do is just produce them a brand new theme. So scrolling through, you can see that it's a pretty simplistic site. Uh, we've just got a couple of columns, images, text, and call to action, inquiry form, and things like that. So they were pretty happy with the content on this site and they wanted to lift that over. But one of the key things they wanted to do was to simplify it. So not only simplify the way that this looks, they wanted to future-proof it. So they didn't want all the bells and whistles, which was potentially gonna cause the website to be outdated again in like another three years and they wanted to simplify the site structure and the navigation. So they've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to eight pages currently on the site. And they wanted to reduce that because they want to reduce clutter. So it's a perfect opportunity for us to just streamline this website as much as possible. So that gives you an idea of what the homepage currently looks like. So let's switch over to Adobe XD. Here is what we have come up with uh, in the initial stages. Let's do that one there. So the photography that they supplied was, was nice. It was very, very nice. We wanted to make that the feature of this project. So we've got a nice large uh, banner image here. So this was our first iteration. This is the first design that we sent over to the client. And you can see that we've uh, carried the logo across. However, where previously it was within a square, as you can see here, we have now put that into a circle. So we tried to just um, make it as clean as possible and keep all of the focus on this uh, background image. Um, we'd also switched up the font. They weren't really sure whether they wanted to keep the font in the, in the initial stages. Uh, so what we did was we experimented with another uh, serif font. Call to action is up at the top and navigation is over on the right. And then if we scroll down, we've got a nice, um, again, photograph. So that's the main feature. We've got some nice text. Um, and then going down further, we have a nice blocky effect with some custom built icons, um, which basically just talks about the features of this project. I'm not sure why that's moved over there. Um, uh, it talks about the features of the features and benefits, I suppose, of staying at this um, this holiday cottage. And um, moving down, we've got a picture of a dog here now. This links through to their gallery and because they are a dog friendly cottage, it was super important for them to bring the sort of the, the friendliness of the dog aspect. Um, so they get a lot of their visitors send them dog pictures. So they formed a gallery. Uh, so it was important for them to feature this gallery. And then we've just got a basic footer down on the bottom. So there wasn't really any need to go nuts with this footer. Uh, we kept everything very minimal and very streamlined. Um, so that's how the first iteration of the home page looks. Moving over, we've got a sub page. So again, we've kept things incredibly simple. We've inherited the navigation from the home page here and carried that across. We don't have any sort of hero image up here. It didn't feel necessary. We kept it incredibly clean and we've just gone straight in with the content. It was important to make a song and dance of these uh, photos because they are stunning. Now, one thing that we did was we ran all of these images through Lightroom and applied a, a subtle, fil fi subtle filter. And basically what that allowed the images to do was just really draw out the color and the vibrance of the surrounding areas. And it, they really do look stunning and they were super pleased with that. It took you know, less than 10 minutes to run these photos through Lightroom and it has maximum impact. And um, so that's definitely one thing that I would recommend is if you have sort of photography that looks a little bit dull, that's supplied by the client, just open up Lightroom, 
have a little play with it, look for some future uh, filter packs and honestly it will make the world difference. So we have a left and right column, uh, left and right text image column, two column approach here. And we've got a slight overlap with the container here. So it's a, a bit of a um, content break that we're utilizing here. And then again, taking all of their existing content from the site, uh, we've just worked to place that in and separate all of nice images and content breaks. And then we've got a call to action down here. So yeah, as I say, that was the first iteration. So we send that over to the client and they weren't too pleased with the font choice that we had chosen. So what they decided to do was just go revert back to their existing font on their website. Um, it was a font that they were happy with, um, but they just wanted to explore other ideas essentially. Uh, so this brings us to our second iteration. So what we've done is we were easily able to change the fonts because we utilized our character styles here in Adobe XD. Not much has changed besides from changing the font and bringing in more of the, the bronze color, which is from, from their brand. So we switched out some of the grays to the bronze. Uh, obviously we had the bronze here, so we kept that. And we've kept this one gray. So they were, again, happy with that. And moving on to the about page, we pretty much rolled that style with, uh, throughout. We changed the fonts um, and we changed the content break here to, to utilize that bronze color, bronze color as well. Now, as a first stage feedback, that's pretty good. And we're really pleased that it was very minimal changes. And you know, usually when we get feedback, it could be like an entire like restructure or redesign. Um, but in this state, uh, in this case, it was literally a case of changing fonts and adding a few more of the bronze color throughout. Now, the only downside here was when we sent this back, um, they weren't really feeling this navigation. They didn't like how it was intruding on the, the image uh, and they wanted to bring some of the sort of text style navigation back in. They, they weren't really feeling the hamburger style, which is personal preference. It, it didn't really um, take anything away from the function of the site. So we we're happy to accommodate that. So what we did as a uh, alternative was we've pulled this image down and we've opened up the contact details and we've opened up the navigation. And uh, by pulling this down, it keeps a lot of focus on the image and this, this logo here isn't gonna intrude on the image, which was their concern in the first place. So we found that was a very, very nice compromise. Uh, so you'll notice here that actually on this design, um, rather than actually putting together an entire new page, we've just edited, uh, what we did was we edited this header because originally it, it kind of sat like that and these items here were, were sort of down here. Uh, so we just switched that up to look like this so it kind of replicates the style that we've got going on here. Uh, everything else on the homepage remained the same. So this project now is ready to progress the build. They have signed it off. So you'll notice here that I've only put together a homepage and what I call a sub page. So it gives them an example of what an inner page might look like within the site. And then what we do is we take that style and we build out the other pages during the build phase in Elementor. Uh, so I always offer this approach to my clients when they get in a custom build. It gives them a real insight as to how things might look. And being able to design a homepage and a sub page really does allow them to visualize how this site might look. So as I say, this has gone over to the client, they've approved it and we are now progressing to build. So actually in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk you through the build process. I'm not gonna run you through it step by step, but we'll have it built and I'll talk you through some of the things that we've done and some of the decisions behind uh, some of the build uh, steps that we have taken. So it is gonna take a couple of weeks to get that finished. So make sure you check that out, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification and you'll be notified of that release. And that's it for now guys, and I'll see you in the next video.